Not everyone happy with Donald Trump's visit to Colorado Springs. Hundreds showed up outside the Galagli, Galagli Center to protest the GOP presidential nominee. Well, new tonight, KRDO News Channel 13, Scott Harrison live outside the event center. Scott. Yeah, JJ, about 300 people are estimated to come and be a part of that protest that happened this morning. Now, the Trump ticket holders had already been standing in line for most, if not all, of the morning, and the protesters began arriving around noon. So on a hot day, a long time to be standing out in the sun, and that inflamed some of the tensions between the two because they were in pretty close proximity to each other. But that's why we had a strong law enforcement presence out here to cool things off when they got too heated. Let's take you to video of that protest when it happened this afternoon. Now. Only thing, the only thing really between both sides for most of the afternoon was a narrow driveway. And for a while, police were content to just let things go as they were, nothing getting out of hand. But as the temperature went up and the tensions went up, police officers started to stand in the middle of that driveway between the two groups just to make sure things did not get out of hand. And they didn't. We did not hear of any serious incidents here today. We did speak with a Trump supporter and a Trump opponent. Here's what they had to say. They have some valid points. Immigrants do make the world better, but there's a way to do it. Legal. So do it legally. If people like myself, who are usually pretty passive people, don't come and, and turn out for things like this, then all the minorities in our, in our um, town here are, are just gonna be walked over. So um, many people, many of the people who showed up here didn't actually leave and clear out until just about a half an hour or so ago. So a long time to be standing outside on this hot day, but all in all, on both sides, it was a fairly successful day out here. Reporting live at the UCCS campus, Scott Harrison, KRDO News Channel 13.